One of the ways to test for COVID-19 in communities is through wastewater. It's something New Brunswick's Lumen Ultra is spearheading for the Greater Toronto Airport Authority. When human beings or really any animal uh, gets infected with any kind of an uh, a infectious disease, one of the modes uh, that we have of ridding ourselves of that pathogen um, is through poop. The project will take samples of the wastewater to help identify variants of concern of the Omicron family of COVID-19 and monkeypox specifically. All areas of the airport will be a part of the test, including wastewater on airplanes. This is a situation where an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and part of that prevention strategy is uh, continuing to monitor for uh, the threats that we know of, and more importantly, the ones that we don't. Whalen says airports are the biggest entry point into any country, making it a critical place to test for the presence of viruses. New Brunswick does test wastewater for COVID in Moncton and Eel Ground First Nation. Public Health says additional sites for wastewater testing have been set up in Fredericton, with sites in Bathurst and St. John soon to follow. Dwayne McIntosh says Toronto Pearson Airport wants to understand what viruses are coming into the country to help inform business and protocol decisions first, but it is willing to share with the Public Health Agency of Canada. But certainly we would want to make sure that our government partners understand the data as well. It doesn't do us any good to work uh, independent of the regulators and the decision makers. McIntosh says any new variants that could be detected through the study will be reported. Natalie Sturgeon, Global News, Fredericton.